Go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet all of you this evening. And we're going to discuss something about the placenta, just the basic aspects of how uh, we use ultrasound in imaging the placenta during uh, pregnancy. Placenta, of course, is uh, one organ. If you start looking at it deeply, it's quite interesting to note there are several changes, and many times the changes do not seem to be commensurate with what is happening to the baby. And we need, so we need a bit more of understanding on what these changes actually mean and what is the uh, significance in each particular pregnancy. It's also ignored many times because we used to say placenta previa or no placenta previa, and after that we don't uh, bother too much about uh, looking at minor details about the placenta. It's also incompletely understood in the fact that uh, we actually look at the placenta in terms of whether the placenta is functioning well or not by actually looking at the baby size. If the baby is growing well, then we know enough nutrition is coming from the placenta to the baby. But when, uh, when there is a placenta problem, we rely on Dobler to tell us uh, about the abnormalities or some problems that's happening in the placenta. It's needless to say that for this lecture, I am not going to cover about the Doppler. Rather, I'm going to look at the morphology of the placenta, location, size, and other things. Uh, if you look at the uh, placenta as a whole, we need to know something about uh, embryology and uh, about the size of the placenta, looking at shape and shape problem, location, some paramechanical changes, and also some placental function. As I said, we will uh, leave out placental function because placental function essentially is looking at Doppler and that will become a very big lecture by itself on its own. Now let's look at embryology and anatomy. The characteristics of the placenta vary with the site of implantation of the embryo. Say if the embryo is implanted very, very low, uh, also there is a failure of implantation or uh, there is a failure of pregnancy. Very early in pregnancy some changes occur and we are just barely able to take out the, uh, the chorionic ring, as you say, as a bright white structure. Now, in the placenta, we have three uh, layers. One is called the defidua base alice, uh, where the anchoring uh, of the chorionic line it forms part of the placenta. So the defidua base alice uh, literally forms part of the placenta because these will are going to invade into that and uh, form a one unit. The second aspect of it is the defidua paractalis, where the endometrium lining, uh, is the endometrium lining the remainder of the uterus. So the basal is the one which is going to anchor the placenta. The parietalis is the one which is going to line the remainder of the, uh, uh, the uterus. And the decibular capsula is where it's a, it's a thin layer of endometrium surrounding the embryo. So this, uh, these are the three things which you're going to look for. But as you grow along, you'll find that the fusion with the uterine wall occurs completely by about 20 weeks. So if you see about 11, 12 weeks, there, there will be an amnion which is separate. The chorion is separate. Now by about 20 weeks, all the fuses and a complete fusion with the uterine wall occurs by about 20 weeks or so. Now, when you look at the definitive placenta, we have to think of two things. One is that the maternal portion, which is actually the density one I talked about, where you can see the uh, the maternal portion will be close to the uterine wall, and the fetal portion, which is actually the chorion. So, if you look at the chorion, you go in greater detail, the essential part of the chorion is the chorionic villi. And here, the chorionic villi are the primary stem villi, the secondary stem villi, and the tertiary stem villi. This is a typical picture of a tertiary stem villus, and these uh, tertiary stem villus shows uh, vessels, both artery and vein. And these tertiary villous arteries are the ones which are uh, deciding how your Doppler waveform will be. The umbilical artery Doppler waveform is decided.